Hello and welcome, ChatGPT4, the whole world is talking about it. I cannot even ask someone about the weather without being involved into a discussion. I also did some videos on it and gave my thoughts here and there. And in this video I want to give you my in-depth perspective and opinion on it. I used it both privately and professionally and I want to raise a disclaimer. This video is focused on topics I have an expertise in, which is data science, quantitative finance and algorithmic trading. So let's start with the downsides. First and most importantly, ChatGPT is not able to understand or solve advanced or non-standardized problems. What do I mean? Mostly everything where you don't immediately get an answer googling, so where you need to connect any dots in your own brain would, in nearly 90% of the cases, not be solved by ChatGPT. Furthermore, if I need a solution for a certain problem, Googling provides me a more in-depth or multi-faceted solution to my problem in nearly 90% of the cases. More importantly, Googling provides a transparent and quality-checked solution, so you directly see going through e.g. a Stack Overflow or similar platform if this solution is a quality answer as people rate the answers. Using ChatGPT, you never know. Also, what I notice is a huge variance in the quality of provided answers. Sometimes I'm really getting good and useful answers, but sometimes I'm getting really bad answers. Overall, to get really good answers, I experience a lot of back and forth, and you need to be very detailed with your problem. The thing with that is, if you can 100% exactly describe what you need, you already solved your problem. Simple as that. Now you could argue, well, ChatGPT is asking the right question, so that you are forced to solve it on your own. I never had a problem where that was the case, and I ended up just doing it on my own. Now, this all sounds super negative, and as you know, I'm a super positive guy. I also want to talk about the upsides. So first of all, you can use ChatGPT to learn whatever you want to learn from scratch and also ask for further or even simplified information on topics you didn't get in the first place. It doesn't only help you in getting into the topics, but also to structure your learning curve. It is also really helpful for getting started with whatever you want to code. So when you're in front of a sad empty script and don't know where to start at all, it is really nice to get kind of a base framework, which you can then extend on your own. Also, it is super powerful for providing quick basic code, which would take some time to write, so e.g. SQL queries. So to summarize, ChatGPT can be extremely valuable, is a very impressive tool without any question, and I even think it has the potential to revolutionize learning and education as a whole. But it also has very clear limitations. It cannot solve most intermediate and nearly no advanced problems. And I personally think that won't change in the next decades, which doesn't mean it won't improve further. Also, it is not really reliable yet. I'm quite interested in your experiences, so be invited to let me know your thoughts below. Thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.